Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and in this tutorial, what we're going to do is cover how to find the surface area of any cube. This specific cube has an edge length of 4 centimeters. Now, we should remember that all edges of a cube are equal in length. So the length, the width, and the height of any cube are going to be equal. Now, we must be careful not to mix up the surface area of a cube with the volume of a cube. Surface area and volume are two completely different measures. For example, we should not multiply 4 times 4 times 4. That would give us the volume of this cube and not its surface area. The volume measures how many cubic units it takes to fill an object. Surface area measures how many square units it takes to cover the surface of an object. Because surface area is a flat, two-dimensional measure, we are going to view our cube from a flat, two-dimensional perspective. We should notice that Six congruent squares constitute the surface of any cube. So, we are basically finding the area of one square and multiplying that result by six. This square right here has an edge length of four. So, to find the area of this square, we multiply four by itself. Because we are multiplying the side length by itself, we can say that we are squaring the side length or raising it to the second power. Squaring four gives us an area of 16 square centimeters. Now, altogether, we have six congruent squares that cover our cube. So, we would summarize this by saying we have six sets of squares with an area of 16 square centimeters. We can express this as 6 times s to the second power. This formula summarizes that the area of one square is being multiplied by 6. So, the formula to find the surface area of any cube may be expressed as 6 multiplied by the side length raised to the second power. To solve for this cube, substitute 4 in for s, which is the side length, and raise 4 to the second power. Remember, the order of operations states that we must perform exponents before multiplication. So after raising 4 to the second power and getting 16, we just multiply that by 6, and that gives us a product of 96. So, it would take 96 square centimeters to completely cover the surface of the shown cube. All right, I just want to say thanks for checking out this tutorial. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and activate notifications. Also, remember to follow me at any of my social media sites that are shown on the screen.